is Faylene and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you some of my Louis Vuitton accessories and also continue doing a wine review from a black owned winery here in Napa Valley. Stay tuned and see more. channel if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing below and if you're returning thank you so much for watching today I'm going to share with you some of my Louis Vuitton jewelry and also talk about at the end of the video how you can save hundreds of dollars on some designer jewelry if you're smart about it so make sure you watch the end of the video so I can share those tips with you. So let's get into the Louis Vuitton jewelry. So I'm actually wearing today this Louis Long necklace. And I love long necklaces. I've always liked that style, even before it probably was very trendy and fashionable, but you can totally take a regular shirt or blouse and dress it up or spice it up a little bit if you rock some kind of long necklace. I also tend to love lots of gold and silver. So this necklace speaks everything Faylene because it's a combination of gold and silver and it's about 31 inches long. So for us taller girls out there, this is a perfect necklace that kind of does hang long and it kind of goes right below my my breast area so i'm going to go a little bit more into the details of this fabulous necklace let me see, see if i could show you up close so you can see here it's got a um, kind of mirrored background so there's two pieces to the necklace one piece is this gold lv and then the back of it and then the second piece is just a solid silver style and then you can see the Louis Vuitton hopefully you can see in the glare and the back and then the chain has a combination of gold and silver so that's really cute and then you can see the authentication stuff for those people who want to know where it's authenticated the number and all that it's actually um, inside the necklace here um, at the point it's not where you hook it on and off, but I don't know if you can see it. And then on the other side, it has the Louis Vuitton there. So this necklace, like I said, is 31 inches long and I will actually measure it so you can be assured I am accurate, give or take. Um, and so it's about 15 inches this way. And so if you double it times two, it's about 30 inches. And this necklace, it's got a little bit of weight to it. Now this is costume jewelry. This is not real gold, nor is this real silver. So do not get in the shower with this necklace or anything like this. This is just really pretty costume jewelry. So just keep that in mind. Uh, the necklace comes in this typical Louis Vuitton box with the little dust bag and what have you. And stay towards the end. I'll talk about how I got this necklace pre-loved. I did not pay retail for it. It was in excellent condition, box included. So this is one of my favorite like long necklaces that I like to wear spring, summer, fall. And like I said, you can, um, the clasp does not open and close. So literally there's no way to open it and shorten it unless you wanted to like wrap it double around or something like that. I don't know, but um, for me, it's a perfect length. And I think it just looks cute with a lot of my tops and um, I love it. So let me talk about some other jewelry pieces that I have. So the next necklace I wanna show you, I um, have from Louis Vuitton. It's a smaller size necklace and it's actually silver. And one of my closest girlfriends from high school actually got this necklace for me as a birthday gift. So it's really cute. Um, and she knows I like uh, Louis Vuitton. So it comes in this cute little cute pouch 
um, if you choose to store it here. But it is a silver locket pennant, sterling silver. It's about 19 inches long. Uh, retails like $7.50 if I'm not mistaken. So if you can see it here, if my camera will focus on what you see it. It's got a tiny little LV on it. Now this necklace does have a clasp here where you can, uh, you know, put it on and off. And might as well rock it right now while I'm talking to you guys. It's the cutest little necklace. It's very dainty and I tend to like dainty pieces of jewelry. Um, so I, I wear this, you know, every now and then. Mix it up with my jewelry. Again, it's sterling silver. It's not something that you need to go into the shower with. Just take it off. Um, but it has the cute little locket. I have some Louis Vuitton sandals with this cute locket. And I'll do a video showing you what those sandals look like. The next piece of costume jewelry, I should say, I have from Louis Vuitton is called the Louis Vuitton Monogram Cuff. And it is a bracelet. And I'll just try to show you this way. And it's got a little silver, silver all around it, I should say. And then it's got a little gold, little, I don't know what this is called, a button. And that's how you actually open and close it. And now when you first get it, it's kind of interesting because you actually have to lift up to open. It's not intuitive because you're like trying to pull it apart and you're like, wait a minute, this is not working. So I lift it up and this way. Inside, you've got the Louis Vuitton, you know, made in Paris. If you can see it. Um, that's it. That's the only thing that's inside. This is a size small, because I have a very small wrist. Um, this also comes in a medium, and this also comes in a rose gold and a gold. And again, none of this is real gold. It's costume jewelry that Louis Vuitton makes. And I like to wear this silver bracelet in between my real diamond bracelets um, as my look. Um, I don't know why, I just kind of like my bracelet stacked. And so it just fits very comfortably around my wrist. And this is how I rock it. I rock it kind of stacked with my um, other diamond bracelets. And I have a, just a quick little story on this diamond bracelet that means so much to me. So my husband got this for me 17 years ago. I um, found out I was pregnant with my first child, my son. So anyway, um, in the doctor's office, we found out that I was having a boy and my hormones just overtook my body. I was boohoo crying, just silly, like why? Um, I was just so distraught because I was, I was having a boy. And I was telling my husband, oh, you're getting everything you want. And I was just not in a good mood. So after that doctor's appointment, he actually went to the mall. We went, we went home and he left and went to the mall and um, got me this diamond uh, pave bracelet, uh, bracelet to try to cheer me up. And I was just like, oh my God, that's so special. That feels so much. It was just, it was just a really special moment because you know it helped me realize I was acting silly because I was having a boy. But it makes me remember every time I look at my bracelet, um, what happened and how I felt and how my husband tried so much to uh, make me feel better. So that was my little story. <laughs> All behind, I'm way off track with the Louis Vuitton bracelet. But this other bracelet, I was just talking about this, the, the memory of it. Let me talk about some of the black wine that I'm drinking. So I think I mentioned in another video, I'm really trying to support a lot more black businesses. And I am all about trying to find black wineries that have wine. And I'm going to include the links below. This winery is called Theophilus, a Pinot Noir 2016. And last time I did a video, I had the Petit Syrah. So I'm actually, um, gonna drink this Pinot Noir and see what this tastes like. Ooh, it smells good. Hmm. I think I like this more than I do the Syrah, which I like. 
It also smells like cherry, like really rich, dark cherry. And a lot of reds, I feel like, have some kind of cherry or chocolate body. This definitely can get you like toasty. I can, I can, I can taste the, the alcohol. Um, I think the Pinot is stronger than the Syrah, if I'm not mistaken, but not, it's probably on the same level as a cab. Okay, because it's not about the wine, it's also about this other stuff. I wanted to share with you some of those discounts on how you can find Louis Vuitton or any kind of discount items at discount prices. So I've mentioned in another video and I'll just keep mentioning these tips to you until you guys are tired of me talking about it, but I feel like there's so many ins and outs on these websites that I just wanna share all this knowledge that I've gained over the last couple of years um, looking for stuff and figuring out how to buy stuff discount. One of the sites that I talked about and I love, is definitely one of my number one right now, is Fashion File. So this actual Louis Vuitton necklace that retails at over $790, $790, I definitely got under $500. So when I actually um, found the item on Fashion File, um, I mentioned I'm really big into some of the accessories that come with the items. So Fashion File had this item where it had the box. Um, Fashion File also labels a lot of their items, you know, with the barcode and the labels. And Fashion File also sends all the items with this little tag that says like, once you cut this tag, it's yours. It's no longer ours. So make sure it's really what you want. But they also have a buyback program where you can actually send back the item, assuming it's in good condition, to Fashion File and they'll purchase it back for you. They won't do it at the full price they sold it. So if they sold you something for 500, they may buy it back from you at $300. And it's usually at least 30 days after you purchase it, which is not a bad deal if you think about it. Fashion File likes to provide a certificate that proves it's authentic. And as you can see here, it's got the name and their little barcode. Um, this item has been inspected by our team of expert authenticators and is backed by our lifetime guarantee of authenticity. Um, and then they have the little fashion file card. Fashion file card. Um, this also included the little monogram cuff book that Louis Vuitton um, had in the store. It's funny because I don't even read these books. I don't even know what's in the books. The actual item that came from Fashion File, like I said, and it came in this cute little box. And I saved almost $300 by buying this item pre-loved. $300 I saved. Um, I'm not sh knocking people who want to go into the store and pay full retail, but why? Why would you do that? if you know you can buy it pre-loved in excellent condition. I'm not saying buy pre-loved when it's not in good condition, but I'm a discount girl. And if I have an opportunity to buy something pre-loved, I will. So that's my tip for you today. Not just purchase, purses. Um, pre-loved websites have all kind of items. They have wallets, they have jewelry items, they have luggage pieces. Today's video was just about some of the luxury accessories that I have from Louis Vuitton. Stay tuned and watch the next video where I talk about some of the other items I have from Louis Vuitton that I also got pre-loved. And thanks so much for subscribing. Bye.